Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Spring Boot series. In the last video, we discussed how can we return back an exception whenever there is a 404 not found scenario. Uh, but we are not sending a status code back whenever we found something that's that's valid, right? So, for example, when there is found videos is not empty, we don't send to 200 OK back, right? And similarly, when title is null, we don't send another status code with the response. And we, we can improve that. We can improve that by adding a, another class, another object called response entity. So let me show you how response entity looks like. So response entity actually extended from HTTP entity. And you can see there are multiple uh, constructor for response entity. You can use uh, uh, response entities just to send the status code back you can use another constructor which uses a body so you can send entire response body with the status code as a second param right and there are multiple um, you know parameterized constructor for that so let's uh, i'm going to use this second one where we are sending a body and a status code right so let's head back to our controller class and uh, let's start with that so instead of returning, um, you know, the video service dot get videos, which returns a list, let's pack that inside response entity. So instead of, we'll create a new object called new response entity, and then uh, it takes a body. So the body is going to be video service dot get videos, right? And the second part is going to be a status code. We can do HTTP status and this is title equals to null and we can just say OK. Right? And we can remove that. We can add the entity to list video. If I can type it correctly. OK, so it's, uh, yeah, I need to change that here. Response response entity list video okay I don't need to do that here anymore because I just changed the return right um, so that, that's one place so now we're going to send this entire object back which is going to claim body with the list of videos and a status code of 200 right and then this is fine this we already you know the exception class takes care of the status code with the you know with this response status function we don't need to worry about that but we need to take care of this guy up here so we'll send a response entity object and then the body is uh, found videos right and then we'll say uh, HTTP status dot okay all right so it looks good no error anymore save it and rerun it right so we, as you see we just introduced this line up here and this line up here and we are saying the object response object back which comprises of body and a status code right let's head back to postman and let's uh, run the title with introduction should throw an exception whenever server is up As I think I would appear not here okay so 404 not found that's expected because introduction doesn't exist what about intro because it exists oh, intro I had a typo there let's see okay so 200 okay it's all good i will do videos so both the object with 200 okay right so uh, very neat right we we can see now we have you know the entire response entity object with the status code so that there is another thing we can use in response entity to look this uh, you know further cleaner and uh, there is a builder uh, that I've seen earlier uh, which we can use. I think we can use the you know 
are okay and not found directly so instead of write, writing that we can actually do let me try that return I think it's a response entity yeah so response entity dot okay and then you can just body in there you can do video service dot get videos so we can do that it looks you know much cleaner than than the you know next line so let's comment that out and let's do the same thing here response entity dot okay and let's put uh, found videos inside that okay that's good and uh, if, let's see what else we have so with okay we have not found no content created stuff like that right so which which we can look later but for this I think the okay will suffice so let's uh, rerun and I think if, if we are like creating something then we can do you know create it uh, by creating I mean if we are saving something inside the database then, and successfully then we can see response entity dot created right and let's head back to postman it should not change anything for us yep that's all perfect 200 is still working and then let's just to check the another path and 200 okay is another is still working so that's great right so that's it for this video uh, stay tuned for more updates on a spring boot series thank you